Now, earlier on, we had Pie Week with Rebecca Lomas. Now, uh, we're talking coding for kids with Scratch My Pie. A different type of pie altogether. Rob enjoyed Victoria to talk about the clubs running over Easter, take part in Robot Wars, design a joystick game, code Minecraft and more. This is Minster Tonight. On Minster Tonight, we're talking coding for kids. I'm uh, joined by Robin from Scratch My Pie. Uh, Robin, tell us a little bit about what you do. OK, we've been going for about two years now. I teach computer coding in primary schools. Um, so we teach Scratch programming, which is a bit of stretching programming. And I run two code clubs in York. And I also run workshops for all of a half term doing computer coding as well. Electronic coding and scratch programming as well. So what, what actually is coding? Coding is, well it's been around for a long time, basically it's telling the computer what to do in order by giving them instructions. Coding, people think coding is like writing instructions, but nowadays look, we use what um, scratch, drag and drop coding, so you don't have to worry about spelling and punctuation, you literally just drag something on the screen and then the object does what you tell it to do. Um, you can do like and play sounds, you can move around, you can, you can play games, but it's so accessible now to children, it's great fun. Um, we also do link it to electronics as well, so we make like lights light up, we make buzzers buzz, motors move, all by turning the computer with instructions, do this, do that, if this happens, do something else. It's very exciting. So it's like, it is, it's exciting computer science for kids, isn't it? Well, exactly, yeah. And what the good thing about it is, it's very visual. Um, so the children just see the mistakes that they make, they learn from them, but it's very quick, very rewarding, very on screen, or very physical as well. Um, it's also very creative. You can be good at maths and logic, but you might not be very creative. But if you're creative, you can get some really amazing games that you're making. So they do do a bit of coding in primary schools at the moment anyway, don't they? Yeah, in theory, it's been long, ran for a long time, but the curriculum changed about two years ago. And it's now more and more on the curriculum now, more and more of a, of a focus. Got children younger six and five. If you know how to do instructions, do this, wait, do this, do that, you can do coding. If you can read, you can just drag and drop and you can make robots move around. You can make cats move on the screen. You can make lights flash just by dragging and dropping. And it's something that although schools are doing a bit of, mm. they don't actually have a lot of time to spare to do these. So when you do your after school clubs, when you do your holiday clubs, mm. this is where they can really concentrate on it, isn't it? Well, the best thing about what we do is uh, we make it, um, I do physical pro physical electronics. So schools is very much on screen, but I make it real for them. So, for example, we do Minecraft programming, we do joystick programming, robots, burglar alarms. Um, so they can do the coding side really easily. But the fun bit is when the buzzers go off and the alarms go off, or in, on Minecraft, which is such a popular game is, is Minecraft, they can type things in and then suddenly they're uh, teleporting around the world. They're uh, building gigantic blocks in one go, changing blocks round. If they stand on certain blocks, the code, the blocks change all through their instructions. So, Adam, your son's with you. Adam, mm. you love Minecraft, don't you? Yeah. Yes. And what is it that makes it fun to play? Um, I like just like the creativity and, and the building side of things. So the coding helps you build more of the things you want to do and make them do what you want to do, is that right? Well, exactly, yeah. If you're, um, you can craft in Minecraft really easily, but with coding, you can um, interact a bit more. It's all from your instructions, and it's just, it's, it's just good fun. It just opens up your imagination to a whole new, different way of looking at Minecraft. But when we used to play computer games when we were younger, you, you played what was there. Now, kids playing Minecraft and things like that, they want to take it a further step, don't they? They want to put mods on. They watch YouTube videos to learn how to do things. Uh, Minecraft is a great game. I mean, Adam plays it all the time and something he's done on it. You're interacting with it a lot more, especially with Minecraft when you're... Um I mean, like building redstone. Redstone is just amazing. I think you should know about redstone. But in the real world, we use wires and LEDs. On the Minecraft world, we use redstone, and that's like their wires on there. And the things you can do, you can like build printers online, you can build gigantic clocks, 
all through coding and then it's a whole new world i wish i was 10 again but i'm not 10 <laughs> so some of the classes that you're running over easter yeah. um i'm reading some of the titles mm. robot wars sounds amazing um control your own robots build a joystick game yeah. um coding and electronics just you know it, it seems to like you say be bringing the the practical and the creative together oh it's just uh, so many i'm getting more and more i mean the one that we really like robot wars is great fun they get to code their robots and then play the fight out together. It's just always a popular one. Um, the one that we really like is uh, remote control robots because that is really good coding. Basically, you bring along any household remote control. You then learn how to program your robot with that control. It's just amazing. And then suddenly you've got a robot going around following your instructions. Um, you have won an award yeah, for this as well, haven't you? it was an award. Um, so we've been going for two years now. It won the um, York Press Award for New Business of the Year. And that was up nice my a very posh do. And we won it because, like I said, we're, we've grabbed the curriculum, found a whole new market for children who love doing this kind of thing. And it's great. Our clubs are very popular. Coding for kids is a thing. It's a club and you can try it all out at Easter. Yes, whether you want to make a robot, whether you want to do some electronics, whether you want to do some art, uh, Minecraft and more, there are so many things you can try out. Visit scratchmypie.co.uk or pick up a copy of the Shine magazine. Uh, all the details are in there and your child could be doing a bit of coding over Easter. Uh, Robin also runs clubs every Thursday and every Saturday at Acom Library. It sounds fantastic. Just the kind of thing my son would love and I might even try it out too. Scratchmypie.co.uk for more information. This is Minster Tonight on 103.7.